Hi everyone, good morning. Thanks for joining me. I'm Catherine and it's lovely to share this time together. We are so excited to be back doing face-to-face -face services again this Sunday. It has only been two weeks, but we've really missed being together in our lovely church. When you come, make sure to check out our newly painted foyer. It's become such a welcoming entrance. And whilst you are sanitizing, being temperature checked and ticked off, you can check it out at the same time. But we also have a new addition to the safety measures which we have in place. We're now offering face masks to everyone attending and you can also bring your own. It's now recommended that those attending church services wear face masks as another line of protection. I know this may seem confronting, but it's our collective responsibility to look after each other. But just as we are asking you to put on a mask, I also want to encourage you not to wear a mask not a face covering, but the mask that we all wear every day, pretending we're okay when we're not. These masks are not helpful. Just like protective masks, we might feel that they're stopping us from getting hurt. But friends, now is the time to take off your mask, to share how you're really doing. These are difficult days when we can feel scared and uncertain. The future looks unclear. We don't know when things will get better. But the Bible tells us frequently and with certainty that God will never let us down. Psalm 46, 1 assures us that he is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Jesus brings us peace that even though we might not understand it, as John 14, 27 says, that peace is what I leave with you. It's my own peace that I give you. I don't give it as the world does. Don't be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. Take off your mask. Reach out to God. Tell him how hard it is. Tell him where it hurts. Don't cover up the pain you feel. He wants to see you, all of you. You are loved, my friend. And the same hands that threw the stars into space, the same hands that were stretched out at the crucifixion, those hands want to comfort you, to help you, and to hold you. Yes, wear your master church, but only a temporary one. Show the real you to Jesus and let him look on your face, and then he can see your heart. 1 Samuel says, for the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearances, but the Lord looks on the heart. Take off your mask, and then real healing can begin. I hope you have a wonderful day and please feel free to share this message because someone close to you may need to take off their mask too.